God is saying to you, a big dream of yours is fulfilling in 24 hours. You have made it through extremely difficult challenges that most people couldn't have endured. You pulled yourself up and into an era of abundance. Enjoy every moment of the life you have created. You owe it to yourself to live in bliss. Every step of the journey was worth it. As you look back, you see why it all had to unfold the way it did. Now you can rest, knowing that everything is always working out better than you can imagine. I know you are waiting, and you continue to see others getting blessed, and you wonder when your blessing will come. I have not forgotten you. It's just a matter of time. I know you have a lot on your plate. Your blessing is coming, and it is big. I declare, this is your season. Keep doing your best one day at a time. Keep showing up with love, integrity, and passion. Your efforts can't and won't go unnoticed. Everything is energy, and the energy that you give out is the energy you will get back. Stay positive about your visualizations, prayers, and keep moving in your lane along your life path. We know when to reach out when we see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Believe in yourself and know that you can overcome any situation. See yourself for all that you are, the beauty you bring to this world, the love you offer. Value yourself more today. Stop being so hard on yourself. This next period is about finding yourselves and reconnecting with your true essence. It's time to put your plans into action and trust that the groundwork has been done. You are leaving the old you behind as you continue to evolve and grow as a soul. Exciting times are just ahead. You have nothing to fear. We are always right beside you. Moving forward does not necessarily mean you have to have confidence in yourself. Having confidence in us is enough. We work through you in unexpected ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers. We've got you. You are continually guided. The next phase of your life requires a different version of yourself, one you have been building for some time. It's already within you. There's nothing you can't take on. Today, I feel a sense of liberation as the weight of the past is lifted from my shoulders. I have been through enough trials and traumas, and I am no longer interested in painful lessons and experiences that drain my energy and limit my potential. Instead, I now choose to learn from love, loyalty, and those with pure intentions. I ask the universe to align me with those who teach me what I need to know and not what I don't. I am open to receiving insights and clarity, and I trust the universe to bring me exactly what I need at exactly the right time. I am worthy of love, abundance, and happiness, and I am ready to step into my power and create the life I desire. Seeing 1111, 333, or 99 means the universe is waiting to bring something incredible but first, you must space by letting go of what no longer serves you. Today, I welcome an out-of-the-blue miracle. I invite the universe to reshuffle things in my favor and deliver something special and big, something that will show me a glimpse that all my dreams are becoming a reality. As I release any feelings of stress, anxiety, or doubt, I feel a sudden clearing of old energy. Instead of overthinking or worrying about what may come next, I am allowing peace and healing to flow through me. I accept people as they are 
and I do not feel the need to control outcomes, seek validation, or prove my worth. I'm confident in my own value, and I recognize that everyone is on their own unique journey. I'm ready to close old chapters and restart with new perspectives, and I trust that everything is unfolding in divine timing. Seeing 33, 8888 or 99 is a reminder to something you've been wishing for is on the way. I am filled with calm energy knowing the universe has my back. I allow peaceful and healing white light to flow through my body now. I foster calm energy in my mind, body and spirit. My body feels peaceful energy flowing in and around me regularly. I choose calm energy now. Tranquil and soothing energy flows easily to me. I am able to shift to calm energy whenever I desire. I let go of upsetting energy and embrace peaceful energy in its place. I choose to have a peaceful day. I allow tranquil and serene energy, thoughts and things to flow easily to me. At this moment, I am safe. You deserve to be treated with kindness, respect, and dignity in all your interactions. Stand firm in refusing to tolerate any form of disrespect towards you. Setting boundaries is an act of self-love and self-respect. Remember that you are worthy of being treated with care and consideration. Surround yourself with people who uplift and honor you, for you deserve nothing less. You have the strength to prioritize your well-being and create a positive environment that nurtures your spirit. Embrace your worth and allow only positivity into your life. If you find yourself struggling today or any day, remember this. You've survived everything life has thrown at you to date. Never ever lose sight of the strength within you. Amazing experiences are still ahead of you. We're so proud of you. When you feel down in the dirt and like giving up and saying, to hell with it, I've tried, you are closer to your breakthrough than you think. Miracles happen when you least expect them, and most often when you're at your lowest. Please keep going. You've got this, and we've got you. True happiness begins from you, from within you, your heart and soul. Your circumstances, the things and people around you can affect you, but if you protect your inner peace and contentment, you will feel more, stronger and able to deal with any ups and downs that may come. Whatever happens, remember that it is just a phase, stay centered, and believe that things will surely get better. You're entering a period of great expansion and celebration. This is a time when life finally gives back to you. Haven't you waited long enough? Realize that as life's tides turn your way, it's not just a fluke or accident, it's the outcome of your unwavering efforts and commitment to your dreams and goals. Prepare for easier and better times. They're certainly on their way. Our message to you is this. Relax. Plan for the good times. You will soon have a reason to celebrate. Make up your mind to leave the past and the old you behind. Focus on giving birth to a new you, the real you. It is your time to create a turning point for the better in your life. It is your destiny to be healthy, happy, and successful. Your future is open, full of possibility and promise. Buckle down and do whatever is required to create a life that you're proud of and a life that you deserve. Don't look back. Look ahead. Move forward. You have something special. You have greatness within you. Remember who you were when you pulled through the darkest night of the soul. Remember how you rallied, how you remained functional, even if barely. 
Remember how you changed, defied your genetics and kept on going. Remember how you held it all together as everything fell apart. Remember all the times you were stronger than you felt and wiser than you thought. Remember how you had a galaxy within you when you thought there was nothing left, so that the next time you know you're going to need a wildfire instead of a match to get through the darkness, remember the survivor within. Your light does not come from your success. Your light is not ignited by perfection or achievement or body shape. Your light is not fueled by popularity or acceptance. Neither is your light at any risk of being put out when other lights around you are bright. Your light is simply made of the you-ness that makes you you. The worries you have in the night, the music which sparks your joy, the books you had to read twice, the memories stored safely in your heart, the people you love and the people who love you. Your light is never dependent on how you look or how you perform. It's just there, it's quite simply brilliant, and it's all yours, and it lights up every room you walk into whether you activate it or not. What a wonderful thing. Own the fact that you are different. Own that you are a deep feeler and thinker. Own that you're tuned into a different frequency. Own the fact that you sense things others don't. Own the fact that you want to talk about angels, energy, miracles, and spirituality. Own that you're done having meaningless conversations. Own that you're done holding yourself back. Own that you crave freedom to feel the now. It's okay if your family doesn't get you. It's okay if your friends don't join you. It's okay if the world judges you. It's okay that you want to dance barefoot upon the earth and endlessly gaze at the stars. It's okay that you cry over sunsets and chase moonbeams. It's wonderful, in fact. It's beautiful. You have come a long way to be who you are. So own it. Own all of it. Love all of you. The world needs you to be exactly as you are. You hold the balance in this crazy world. You have experienced a lot of emotionally challenging situations recently, but it wasn't for nothing. You were being prepared for the next phase of your life, which requires a different, stronger, and more evolved version of yourself. Whatever the future throws at you now, you've got the tools to not only overcome it, but to win it. Your life is changing so profoundly that you don't even know. A transformation is occurring within. Your timeline is shifting. A reality is being designed for you as you read this. Some of you might even feel a twinge of anticipation, a thrill running down your spine. Something is shifting, something so big that you don't even wish to think about it. Those who are in tune with the universe can feel a shift, a new reality for you, one that helps you bloom, blossom, and feel loved. Ever wonder why you chose to go quiet, to withdraw, and to discard all that which no longer feels right? Relationships are being questioned, situations that drain your energy are being released, habits of hoarding are changing into a desire to let go, discard, and donate. As you find your footing in this new cycle, opportunities will find you, new connections are waiting to be formed. So much is changing for you. If you feel afraid or worried that chaos will find you, rest easy because the chaos that is heading your way is meant to clear the path for all that is not in alignment with the universe's plan for you. The collective is moving towards a conscious awakening as their body receives cosmos downloads to shift their vibrations, to release the frequency of suffering and anchor into power, to thrive and grow, to choose ascension. 
Make time to connect with your ancestors and seek blessings in love and miracles in life. Something big is happening. Close your eyes and feel the energy. Ascension is occurring for so many. High energetic downloads are being received, which might result in headaches, severe shoulder aches, dry, itchy eyes, blocked nose, heaviness in legs, throwing up, diarrhea, dehydration, itching in the throat, acid reflux, heartburn, losing time. The old way of life is dying and you are being prepared for a new beginning, a new journey, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. It's time to build a solid foundation, be it your life, love, career, money, relationships, or inner work. Remember, all that which is falling away needs to leave to make space for that, which is meant to help you level up, to help you reach the next phase of your soul journey. Recognize, acknowledge, and accept what is no longer aligned with your growth. There is a victory with your name on it, a healing with your name on it, a new position with your name on it, a new home with your name on it, a legal triumph with your name on it, a breakthrough with your name on it, a miracle with your name on it. Claim it and receive it by faith. You're entering a new season of consecutive wins. It's time. You've had enough lessons. You did the work. You overcame so much. You believed even when it was hard to. You never gave up. You pushed through it all. Now it's time for you to receive blessings in a major way. I will open doors no man can shut. This is a season where I am bringing you into your destiny. I understand what you are going through and I promise to be with you in every trial of life. Remember, your destiny is not determined by the economy or how you were raised or your education. Your destiny is determined by me, your Heavenly Father. You need to get ready. Where you are is not permanent. I have explosive blessings coming your way. I will increase you beyond your salary. I will bless you beyond your normal income. I will suddenly change things in your life. God is going to open doors for you that have been locked for a long time. Suddenly, miracles will happen in your life. Restoration and healing are being released. Your greatest days of productivity and prosperity are on the horizon. Don't quit. Keep moving forward. You are going to make it. The tide is turning. The devil is losing his grip. Now is not the time to give up. The world needs the gift I have placed within you. You have work to do. You have lives to influence. You are important. Now, get up and walk. May Jesus start to bring clarity to his future plans for you. May you suddenly be assured, on a much greater level, of his deep love for you and of his intimate attention to detail. As he bids you to come, may you let go of what feels safe to lay hold of the new place he has for you. He's doing a new thing. Don't hang on to the old just because you know it so well. Don't miss out on the invitation. He bids you come. May you take the next faith step in front of you. Have a blessed and beautiful day. May God expand your territory, enlarge your vision, and increase your capacity for His influence in your life. May you be quick to hear, quick to obey, and quick to trust Him with every detail of your life. As you consider His faithfulness today, may you walk faithfully to your next place of promise. He was faithful yesterday, He is faithful today, and He will be faithful tomorrow. I am going to need you to pay close attention 
to things that are going on around you right now. The enemy is using people that you know to bring petty accusations and petty attacks against you. The purpose of these attacks are to distract you and cause you to lose focus on things that really matter in the kingdom. Let the pettiness go, rise above it, pray for these people, and stay on the kingdom path. They may have walked out on you, but it is not the end. God has the final say. He's going to bring you someone so great, loving, kind, fun, good-looking, well-off, you're not even going to miss that person that left you. God is going to pay you back. Now get your hopes up. Quit believing those lies that you've seen your best days, been through too much. You'll never be happy. God has something amazing in front of you. Amazing people, opportunities, resources. He has something that you've never seen, more rewarding, fulfilling, than you've ever dreamt of. Staying consistent leads me to greatness. I am strong and stay committed to my goals. I have a routine that supports my goals. I am determined to grow and improve myself. I am consistent and it shows in my results. I am trustworthy and keep my promises. Consistency helps me reach my dreams. I can resist distractions and stay on track. I stay centered and focused on my goals. I manage my time well and stay focused. Quan, I can concentrate deeply and do my best. Quan, I am focused and get things done efficiently. Thrin, I think clearly and focus on steps for success. I control my actions and make good choices. Funds, I am disciplined and make smart decisions. Six, I am capable of making tough choices. The truth is, none of us are easy to date, deal with, or please all the time. We have our vices, attitudes, and way of doing things that make us unique. You won't like everything about somebody. It's impossible. This is life, and it isn't about finding the perfect person. There's no such thing. It isn't about living some happily ever after fairy tale. It's about finding someone you're willing to work for and who is willing to work for you. It's simple, but yet so hard to achieve. It's easy to look back and question decisions you have made in the past, but it's unfair to punish yourself for them. You can't blame yourself for not knowing back then what you know now. And the truth is, you made each decision for a reason, based on how you were feeling at the time. As we grow up, we learn and we evolve. Maybe the person you are now would have done things differently back then. Or maybe you are the person you are now because of the decisions you made back then. Trust your journey. It's all going to make sense soon. I was raised to show respect. I was taught to knock before I open a door. Say hello when I enter a room. Say please and thank you, and to have respect for my elders. I'd let another person have my seat if they, I need it. Say yes sir and no sir, and help others when they need me to, not stand on the sidelines and watch. Hold the door for the person behind me, say, excuse me when it's needed, and to love people for who they are and not for what I can get from them. And most importantly, I was also raised to treat people exactly how I would like to be treated by others. It's called respect. God says, don't even think about giving up. You are going to make it, no matter what it looks like right now. I know you're worried about your finances, your health, and your family. Remember, I always work in your favor. I will bless you today with peace, healing, and victory if you don't quit. 
I'm going to bring something beautiful out of this ugly situation. Get ready for your blessings. Never forget, I am always with you, in good times and in bad times, on mountaintops and in valleys, in joy and in tears, in blessings and in trials. Whatever you are going through, I am right there beside you, every day, every night, every step of the way. I love you and I won't leave you. Trust me to take care of you and be faithful to you in every season that you walk through. God is about to place you in a new, blessed and life-changing position you didn't even apply for. He is making a way for you right now. New doors are opening for you. There are big plans and big breakthroughs in store for you. Stay patient on your journey. God has the final say. Dear God, even if life can be hard, please help us to always remain firm in you. Help us to see the hope we have in heaven and the joy that is there. Thank you for enabling us to spend eternity with you. Amen. Today I pray for you a heart free of sadness, a mind free of worries, a life full of gladness, a body free of illness, and a day full of God's blessings. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you're unselfish and considerate in all you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and your hearts quiet and at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. Lord, I'm praying for my boy today. Thank you for giving him to me and for the privilege of being his parent. I've got some things on my mind and I'm bringing these requests to you now. Thank you that you hear and answer prayer. Please keep him safe. Protect him from physical danger, emotional harm, and spiritual attacks. Put your angels around him so that he is always sheltered in your care. Guard his mind, his eyes, and his steps. Help him make wise choices. Give him courage to choose paths that will lead to long life, to joy, and to your purposes for him. Give him eyes to see consequences to his actions well ahead of time so he can avoid temptation and pursue what is good. May he be a man of character. Help him to be honest, kind, generous, and unselfish. May he be trustworthy and resilient, be willing to work hard and ready to take responsibility for his decisions. Give him the ability to see the best in people and circumstances and to find strength in the face of adversity. Surround him with good people. Provide friends who encourage him, understand him, and have a positive influence on him. Help him to walk away from relationships that tear down his self-worth or cause him to make poor choices. Give him mentors, people he can trust, those he can emulate. He needs godly role models, and I ask you to provide them for him. Give my son a heart for you. I know that he will make mistakes and that he will have struggles. This is part of life and part of what will prepare him for adulthood. But through these experiences, would you speak to him and show him that you are for him? May he learn to love you in the quiet and seek your peace in the midst of a noisy world. Help him to see you in the everyday moments of his life. I commit this young man to you. 
There is so much I can't control now that he is this age, but I know I can always come to you with my requests, and I can relinquish my worries to you. I thank you for peace and freedom from fear, because your perfect love casts out all fear. I stand on your promise that you will complete the good work that you have started in my son, and you will always love this beautiful gift you've given me, even more than I could ever do. Just a reminder in case your mind is messing with you tonight. God heard your prayer. You are going to be okay. God is making a way for you. Angels have been sent to comfort you. God has a great plan for your life. You can do all things through Christ. Blessings are coming your way. You matter. You're important. You're loved. Here's the thing about people with good hearts. They give you excuses when you don't explain yourself. They accept apologies you don't give. They see the best in you when you don't need them to. At your worst, they lift you up, even if it means putting their priorities aside. The word busy does not exist in their dictionary. They make time, even when you don't. And you wonder why they're the most sensitive people. You wonder why they're the most caring people. You wonder why they are willing to give so much of themselves with no expectation in return. You wonder why their existence is not so essential to your well-being. It's because they don't make you work hard for the attention they give you. They accept the love they think they've earned, and you accept the love you think you're entitled to. Let me tell you something. Fear the day when a good heart gives up on you. Our skies don't become gray out of nowhere. Our sunshine does not allow the darkness to take over for no reason. A heart does not turn cold unless it's been treated with coldness for a while. I choose to believe in myself. I am whole and complete. My body is beautiful, exactly the way it is. I am enough. I choose to feel good about myself. I like who I am and who I am becoming. I deserve all that is good. I am deeply grateful for my body, my health, and my unique talents. I am totally adequate for all situations. I choose to see the world through the eyes of love and acceptance. I move through life, knowing that I am safe. I am supported in all I do in life. My life gets more fabulous every day. I am surrounded by grace and positivity. I can have everything I want in life. I attract wonderful things into my life. I deserve everything good that comes to me. I am worthy of the compliments I receive. My contributions are valued and appreciated. I can assert myself and stand up for myself and others. I accept others as they are, and they, in turn, Acme. I am worthy of love and healing. Release what no longer serves me and make space for emotional healing. 3.1. Am allowed to feel my emotions and give myself permission to heal. 4. Each day I am becoming stronger and more resilient. Let go of past hurts and embrace a future filled with peace and joy. 6.1. Am deserving of happiness and inner peace. I forgive myself and others, freeing myself from emotional burdens. Choose to nourish my soul with love, compassion, and understanding. 9.1. Am capable of healing from any emotional wounds that I carry. 10. 1. Release the pain of the past and open myself to a future filled with love and happiness. Trust the healing process and allow myself to heal at my own pace. 12. Am in control of my emotions and I choose to cultivate positive and uplifting feelings. 
Embrace my emotions with kindness and embrace the lessons they bring. 14. One am resilient and I bounce back from difficult emotions with strength and grace. I honor my emotions and give myself the space and time to heal. When let go of negative thoughts and embrace a mindset of positivity and healing. 17.1 am whole and I restore my emotional well-being with each passing day. Release any emotional attachments that no longer serve me, making room for growth and healing. Choose to focus on the present moment and create a future filled with emotional balance and harmony. 20. I am worthy of self-care and I prioritize my emotion well-being. You can be fully satisfied with where you are, understanding that you're eternally evolving. When you get into that place of feeling appreciation of where you are and of who you are and appreciation of what you are, and you accept that you are a never-ending, always unfolding being, then you can stand in that delicate balance of being optimistic about what is to come without being unhappy about where you stand. Find a way of eagerly anticipating future changes while at the same time you are in love and satisfied with who, what, where, and how you be. Achieve, first, the vibrational essence of your desire and then through the crack of least resistance, the manifestation will be delivered. Work on the essence of the feeling of freedom. Work on the essence of the feeling of empowerment. Work on the essence of the feeling of well-being. And how do you do that? You can imagine it already having happened and pretend what it will feel like when it is that way. Or, you can look for things in your life that are already like that and beat the drum of that until they play a higher percentage of time in the vibrational signal that you are emanating. Please subscribe our YouTube channel to reach 3,000 divine subscribers. Very soon, please share this video to your loved ones and share super thanks. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.